There was an organization in Denver. Miss Joanne Ryan had a, an organization called the Echoes of Youth. She just gathered all the youth together and we had a choir and then we had different bands that came out of there. I just grew up singing, mimicking Thera Vaughn and Nancy Wilson and different people like that just because I love the music. So that's how my falsetto developed. Maurice saw being a musician as a very high calling. White was born on December 19, 1941 in Memphis, Tennessee, the home of the blues. His plan was to become a medical doctor like his dad, that is until he sat behind the drum set. Life was never the same. In 1969, White moved to LA and formed a band called the Salty Peppers, which had limited success. Earth, Wind and Fire, which was taken from White's astrological chart, was assembled in 1971. But with the exception of his brother, bassist Verdine White, the band members were switched out for younger cats, and that's when things really started to happen. With Earth, Wind & Fire concept, he wanted to fuse different elements of music together, and he wanted it philosophically to be positive. There were so many negative connotations to musician because he came from the jazz era, and so many people had OD and this, that, and other. His okay. concept was to render a service to humanity. That was the concept, and then, you know, we added the production and all this stuff back in the 70s. That was before its time in terms of trying to give the audience more than they paid for. And, Phoenix Horns came out of Chicago. Don was a friend of Maurice's, and so was um, Satterfield. They used to work in a studio together. And uh, yeah, it was an awesome, awesome uh, horn section. I went solo in the middle of uh, Earth, Wind & Fires, around in the 80s. I started doing solo records. I've done 10. The biggest one to date is uh, Chinese Wall that Phil Collins produced.
on top of all this music and touring, there's life too, because a lot of those songs are written from a standpoint of living life and watching others live life. And the songs actually have come back to uh, comfort me at times when I really needed them, like sing a song. You know, the show must go on. I was singing, sing a song. It was like I didn't write it. It just spoke right to my spirit. You got doo-wop, you got jazz, you got blues, all in one song. We did it our way. <laughs>